In the previous video, we saw that when we rub a glass rod with a silk cloth, it was creating an imbalance between the electrons. And that imbal imbalance was actually creating the flow of electron. So, does the imbalance is the concept known as voltage and the flow of electron is it the concept of current? To get the answer, watch the video. To understand the concept of voltage and current, we will consider this analogy of water. Okay, so that it will help you guys to understand the concepts more clearly. Okay, so here we are having two water tanks. Uh, first is on the upper level and second is on the lower level. Now, I have to pump this water from its lower level to the upper level. So for that purpose, I connected a pump here with the pipe so that this when I start the pump, it will pump the lower water to the upper level. Right now this water this stored water can be uh, you know can be driven to its original position the only thing is we have to connect one more pipe and the water will flow to the lower tank again right now the conclusion is first is we need energy to move the water from upper level to the uh, sorry lower level to the upper level right and we need a path to release the energy okay the electrons is not more different than this when we rub the silk cloth with the glass rod we were actually pumping the electrons or we were creating a energy now to release that energy what we need we need a path if we connect a wire in between glass rod and the silk cloth the electrons actually starts flowing right now we will get back to our water analogy consider this is not water this is our electrons okay so in first step what we did we created a imbalance between this electrons by pumping it from a lower level to the upper level okay now in the upper tank our electrons are stored and this stored energy or these stored electrons has the energy called as potential energy why because it has a potential to get down okay if we provide it a path or it has a capacity to get down if we provide them a path okay this stored energy or this this stored potential energy in the form of electron imbalance is capable of moving the electron from one position to the other position and this term is nothing but your voltage see how simple it is okay now the voltage is it has a proper definition we will see that voltage is the measure of work required to move a unit charge from one location to the another location right if you want to move uh, certain things from one position to the another position you will need a force and that force is nothing but your voltage right same in the case of pump pump where in case of our water analogy pump we are creating the, that force okay now the question is why it is called as a potential difference between two points. So your answer is here. See, here you can see from one location to another. So you need two location or two points. So and that is why it is always called as between the two points, potential difference between the two points. Now we have the proper definition of that also. It represents the possibility or potential for energy release as the electrons move from one level to another see one level to another it is always refer, uh, referenced between two points see how easy it is isn't it the easiest way to understand the this concept one more question can arise do every time I have to rub to create the force oops so the answer is luckily no because there are some other sources that can create the imbalance like battery, a solar cell and generators and many other uh, stuff that can create the imbalance or that has voltage. Okay. So this is all about the voltage. Now what about the current? To understand current, we'll see. <clears throat> okay. So first we have a battery. That means we have a force. But the 
electrons are not flowing similar in the case we have pumped the water from the lower tank to the upper tank but the water is not flowing to the downward direction why yes correct because we don't have path for it okay so as soon as we provide a path the electrons start flowing or similarly the water start flowing okay and this continuous flow of electron is nothing but called as your current okay. now as long as this battery keeps on pushing the electron the electron will keep on moving in the same direction and if you want to get more particular the flow of electron in the same direction is called as direct current or dc there is also another current named alternating current but we are not going to see about this uh, in this video they are, we will see about this in our upcoming videos so i hope you guys get this concept of voltage and current and don't do this at home because this is a dangerous uh, condition i i just told you to so that you guys will understand because it will create a short circuit direct short circuit so don't do this at home there is a one more way to remember the concept of voltage and current in the easiest way possible and this is it so let's say if you want to move these marbles in this tube so you will need a push right and that push is nothing but your voltage see and as soon as you push this marbles it will start flowing and that flow is nothing but your current okay this is the easiest way you can remember the concept of voltage and current now the question is is there any opposition to the flow of mr current or does it uh, flow smoothly is there any relationship between voltage and current or do they marry we are going to answer this questions in our next video to get the update you can just simply click on the subscribe button or to get the update you can also like us on our facebook page that is www.fb.com slash I am Gaurav Jain and if you think you guys uh, you know this video help you guys you can simply share this video so that it will help you to the other guys also so thank you for watching keep watching keep learning